Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds where we are still on crime solving duty. A wonderful duty, it feels good to do that, although I assume we are still now gonna, well, let into some <clears throat> fighting, I assume. Okay, can we actually... What the? Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. I can't tell if she's happy or in serious pain. I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. Uh, yeah, what's, what's, what in law's name is on your neck? Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. Um, show, showed up? How long have you had it? It's, um, this passenger? Couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. So, uh, where did you find it? I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad. So I don't worry about it. Ah, oh, that's great. Can we change the topic? Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Boop. <laughs> But, but what anything you can tell me about the orc? Um, yeah. I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon, give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. Um, I might be interested in hearing more about your oh, tours. I'm so glad you said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. Um, Rizzo's really pushes the hearts um, that sell, huh? Huh? Oh no, Rizzo's doesn't make me recommend the tour. Helping customers just makes me even happier than I already am. And that's saying a lot. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. This doesn't feel right, Cap. She's on something. I'm not quite sure what you mean. There's really nothing better than feeling a euphoric sense of happiness and self-contentment. Now I'd be pleased as punch to sell you a tour ticket. Um, what are my options? We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10-minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with the novelty Purpleberry and Amber, and the golden ticket is audio guided in addition to being self guided. Um, well, why not? Which kind would you like? Mm. <laughs> uh, the golden one. Let's see how expensive it is. We have one left. Normally there are 100 bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? Yeah, That's well. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Um then Helen was in the um Auschwitz before she died. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. 
Now that his bow's dead, that means Bertie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. Um, you know, um, Bertie's a suspect in um, Helen's murder investigation, right? Oh my! Bertie, a murderer? Well, everyone has their flaws. I'll be sure not to bring it up on our first date. Oh man. Okay, does she have anything useful? No weapons, can I repair anything? Then let's at least do that. Our alcohol stocks are larger than ever. And a good thing too, because I just can't seem to stop myself from getting into them. Our products are just that good. This is not how you should advertise for alcohol, to be utterly honest. Yes, I've bought the ticket. <laughs> I'm not yet certain what we are gonna do with it. Or if... Maybe I'm just gonna forget it. This might be possible as well. Okay, before we... I'm in the exploring mood right now. I wanna see if there's anything up there which might be lootable. Or it's the station you just for the good looks, which is of course possible too. Okay, ah, ah, they're drunk. Hello, boys. In case you wonder, yes, in the off, I actually did sell some weapons. Nice looking center troop armor platinum. So it was actually the little detour he was worth at the time, I think. Was it actually? I mean, it looks ugly, that I can already say. 103. It's a little bit feminine looking, but which ain't bad, don't get me wrong. I, um, that wasn't meant, um, that way. I just don't like the feminine looks on us, on the character. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. if your people were sabotaging my operations I mean yes I so to say haven't found the indication yet but this I've otherwise ever seen before sorry can't talk we're busy having and if sabotaging the orchards weren't enough you had to make it personal you really had to bust my insta coffee maker too the nerve uh, hold that asinine, asinine thought. Who is this armed stranger who just wandered into your office? Back up for a fight you can't finish? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know this fella. I think it's mightily more likely that he's under your payroll. Here to burn down what you haven't already. I'm not in a, under anyone's payroll, which is not um, to say I can't be. Um, just need to investigate a murder. Go ahead, your business, yeah? I see. Just a visitor, then. Congratulations, Hathaway. Not everyone's abandoned your orchards. Well, shame that you're trying to change that. Anyway, sorry for the heated reception, stranger. There's just been some... trouble here of late. Name's Overseeing Orchardist Hathaway, and I'm in charge of these orchards. Though it seems like certain groups, which will remain unnamed, are trying to change that. Looks like I'm stuck playing the part of customer service rep. I guess it's different from the usual, at least. Uh, something I can do for you? Uh, I overheard you mentioned sabotage. Let's begin with that. Yeah, just another woe to add to the pile. 
In the past, the Orchard subcontracted security work from Slug. You know, keep the malcontents on staff from causing too much trouble. But between the Spectrum Brown unveiling demanding all of our resources and the recent uptick in worker accidents, we just ain't got the budget for security. And, of course, Slug has decided that instead of being reasonable, they're just gonna sabotage our operations until we start paying them again. Look at the poor Rizzo's manager, lying about Sublight to make himself feel better. Shame he skipped where Rizzo's was short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Look, at the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. Um... What of um, sabotage, sabotage, sorry, um, has there been, you mentioned, an increase in worker accidents? It's the strangest thing. Like everyone forgot their 10-minute workplace safety seminars. That's twice as long as the next leading brand. Our people should be safety experts. But I've seen folks step on open electrical wires, drop pallets on each other. One damn fool even blundered into a wasp keto hive. Even as he died, he looked fairly pleased. Uh, what, is of, what sort of sabotage um, has there been? Oh, you know, nothing particularly troublesome. Just rogue exterminator mechanicals opening fire on anything that twitches within 300 yards of them. We've also got a large group of new saplings, all dead from some kind of toxic substance. Poison, I guess. And who could forget the tower processing console, which probably just shorted out and stopped working on its own. Even though it's outfitted with three separate backup systems? There are a suite of explanations for what could have happened. Most pointing to Rizzo's worker incompetence. My people didn't sabotage anything. Yes, we could figure it out. Thank the law. Some good news. You hear that, lapdog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence, I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree. Yes, okay, we got a new quest then. I still would like to figure out Oh, hello. These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. Okay, Helen. I said Helen before. Anyways, um, examining the footprint, death and spacing. You are unable to deduce any further details. You find anything? Um, I can deduce that um, Helen had Satuna for breakfast last week. Um, pretty obvious if you know what to look for what. Well, we're in the right spot at least. Yeah. Okay, I wonder... Um, if we take a look at the journal, right? They definitely belong to her. Follow the... Oh, okay. Okay, in... How oh, shall I follow them? If they bloody disappear. Okay, we will follow them. Um, we will follow the route and then maybe get into a side quest in the next episode. For now, you know it. I, as usual... Is this an enemy down there? Really, thank you for watching. If you guys actually... No. Uh, do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see ya in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.